different different issues that concern. I'm finding so many so many different mentalities mentality today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because I don't think hard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so I'm, ready, I'm ready for this challenge, and I was built, I was built for this. I think that I think we, all have, we all have a purpose in life. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. I thank my community for coming out and taking out the time to come out. The purpose of this meeting is for information. Over three years ago, we had let the school board know and anybody else that wanted to know that this was the apple of our community, and it still is. It still is. It's very important because of the resources that yet come here or should be coming here, but if we don't stand up, we we'll lose everything. Okay, Tech Farmer, yes, it's a charter school. Can't hate on nobody for wanting the best education for their children, nor would we, right? But do you see what it's doing to our community? The whole thing is still like it's always been divide and conquer. Because if your child go over there and something happens, where's your child going? And then what's that going to do to you economically? Economically, what is that doing to us? Oh my Where is the funds that have been allotted to us going? Where are the funds, period? Is everyone in here ready to vote? Is everyone in here ready to vote? And that's that very important. This school also houses three different divisions for voting. Where will we go? It will be too far and you don't want to come out and vote? What is it going to look like when them doors are closed? What happens to our community? The school today, they messing with our kids and it's us. I ain't even going to say tomorrow. It's us tonight. How about that? We have to be very careful who we select to put them off. No more. And I ain't got no picks. Quote me on it. Ain't got no picks. If we have elected you to do a job, then it's time you answer the call. But the call has to come from us. Every time I go and fight for something for the neighborhood because I'm committee person 284, he says one of them. I do have a partner. And the first thing they tell me, your proposal is good. Your ideas are great, but there's no head count. When it comes down to them folks uh, higher up or however you may want to call them, we are social security numbers and numbers, period. Period, period, period. Just a number. But if we don't come together, there can be no longer 27th Street going in. 32nd Street on this. Why 32nd Street don't know what 27th Street on? Because that's part of their divide and time. By the time they hit 27th Street with the ID and they take the package, they got somebody already over here at 32nd Street talking this. We are in such great need. The reason why they know about our need is because they have our resources and they are done giving them some of themselves unless we come together. It took us, Unity Insurance, that's why the school was not closed. And it shocked them because they thought we were seeing. They thought everybody was on drugs. They thought no, no, seriously. They thought nobody cared about the school. But when we showed up at Diamonds, we got national attention. A lot of people did not like that 2020 special, if I'm not correct. The 2020 special? Well, them children that day, every last one of them went to college. Because 2020, and somebody from California, somebody from, and I'm telling you what I know because I answered the phone. We have doctors with full scholarships. So what the government for bad got turned around for our good. Today, we're calling for a call of action. We will no longer sit up here and let you do what you want to do to us by coming in and promising us this with the mouth service. But then at the end of the day, we're raped. Maybe I'm saying it the wrong way. I don't mean to, but it's such a seriousness about it. It's such an urgency about it. There's such a desperate need. Because they already have divided us. They divided us already because if your child cannot be put in daycare, then how are you going to work? Where is the daycare? Mm -hmm. Ain't they telling us what that soda tax is supposed to be for? But I ain't seen nothing in writing saying that that's what they're really going to use it for. Mm -hmm. It's too many issues and not enough people. We all have to come together and be Indians with a couple of chiefs. I'm down to be an Indian. Any more Indians? But we have to watch who's leading us. They have to be accountable for it. And the reason why there was no politicians actually invited to this meeting was because before we go to them, we have to get us together. We have to get us together. What good would it be for us to call the folks? Let's say Daryl Clark. Because we ain't together. I'm telling you the truth, we're not together. We have to come together and stay focused on our issues. Come together and demand the respect that we deserve as individuals and they get recognized as a whole community.
different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many so many different. Everybody needs to look around. 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 Everybody needs to look if we don't start taking care of the trash situation, huh? we wonder where the raccoons come from because mm. they the developments. It's messing up their houses, so they come and take over our houses. And they will have our houses if we don't come together. Mm. This is your block captain. Any black captains in here? Thank you for coming. Let's applaud you. Says let's applaud you. It was called the reentry program. And guess what? Only four people in the neighborhood came. <coughs> District attorney is looking at me. You fought and you fought and you fought. And I have no two corners. What, what, what can I do to get y'all all these people? Well, I got a record. Ain't nobody going to hire me. Put it together and it's going right here. Only four people. Now, I'm going to take half the plan. Now, ask me why. Because of miscommunication. If this side don't get with that side, we fall in the middle. This is a call to action. We don't want to be this way. If it is that we have to block the street, this is our block to Don't they do? Don't they do? Won't they come and take a hold of the street? This is what we own them? But if somebody calls, it's on you. If they can dig in your stuff and don't say nothing. Oh, heads up. There would be about 100 trucks uh, a week or something coming down 33rd Street because they raised my message. There was a meeting at Cornerstone. I'm talking that loud, I'm going straight in. And that meeting was part two of a meeting that came from the playground, where we supposed to be Amanda to the river. But when we got the Cornerstone, it was all about the river. So the court is going to come out to these meetings so we can no longer be disappointed. It's important that we come out to these meetings so when they go and see, it ain't more of you and little of us. It's more of us than it is you. And we're all you responsible to talk and explain everything to each and every last one of us. <coughs> this meeting is about us, community. It's about us. It's about are we ready to demand what's right to be ours? Because we're both the men. Even right now to me. I was elected by the people. You, some of you, maybe all of them. I don't know. <laughs> because it was a number. So it all goes back to the back of the back. We have some men here, and I'm asking them to come forth to be willing to go to these corners because see what? We can teach our sons right or wrong, but we can't raise them. It's something about that man thing. They need that man thing. Because if our children had nothing else to do, they got a prison waiting for them. And some of us didn't pass the numbers, they're giving out letters. Community, tonight it's time for us to let them know again we are one. You can't do things over with your ride. And don't think it's not going to affect strawberry milk. Strawberry milk, you cannot do things here and think it's not affecting your ride. There is so much stuff going on around us that one person, you will lose your mind. Meat is at the 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 meat. And let me tell you how slick they get. They sending you a letter about something you don't know nothing about, hoping that you don't come. And when you don't come, if they passed out 10 letters, they had a meeting. Hello? That's what they're doing. Because they think that we're too ignorant, that we're too lazy to stand up for what's ours. If you're a homeowner, oh, I'm sorry, y'all just did the walk. Okay, I did the walk. Y'all feel welcome. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. And then that 
We do have a town watch that's operating in the neighborhood. Um, and there's other crime prevention programs that we can use, but right now they're operating in isolation. So this committee is going to pull all that together. That's the safety and prevention committee. Question. So, so that, yeah, not, not necessarily a question, just something that I noticed. I don't know if everybody's been aware, but in the newspapers, they are, they are reporting that Strawberry Mansion is a heavy crime area, but a lot of what they're reporting is taking place in Temple University area. Oh. And they got things all screwed up. They're reporting crime that's occurring in Temple University areas in Strawberry Mansion. And see, that's one of the things that needs to be made aware to everybody. The boundaries of, of Strawberry Mansion don't extend all the way down there. And see, these are the things that the people need to be aware of. When you hear something being reported in the news, call up your, you know, call the news people. Get on the phone and call your council people. Daryl Clark is your council person, y'all know. Y'all need to get on the phone sometimes and raise hell. Flood his office with calls about this negative press that your neighborhood is getting. Because a lot of stuff just don't happen here. It happens in areas that they're describing as Strawberry Mansion. And there's something else I want to speak on too, but that's, you know, that's... But that's a very, very good point, and I think it's, I sent an email out with a letter and a text to it was some neighborhood boundaries. It's a map. So if you need that, just let me know, and I'll, I'll send it to you, or I'll make sure it's copies in the, uh, the NAC office for you so you'll know your neighborhood boundaries. And he's so right, because when there's a shooting, Strawberry Mansion is that 17th and Dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, when this is shooting, it's Strawberry Mansion, so we got to keep that in mind. The next committee is Health and Wellness. I got work for this committee already. The net is uh, willing to help out with this committee as well. Um, there's uh, someone called me the other day, and now I'm just giving you an example of how everything is coming to one place. Uh, they, this young lady wants to start a walking club. Okay, and I know that uh, some other people was interested in it. So we want us to have a health and wellness committee so that we can tie all of those things together so that when someone wants to start a walking club, it's just not just for one area. Everybody in Torrey Mansion can walk. Okay, the, the next one, again, I'm reading along the agenda, is the Arts and Culture Committee. Now, I got fussed out about this, but what I was trying to, I had to condense stuff, because y'all just don't know, Torrey Mansion is on the map, okay? We are getting calls every day because someone wants to do, someone wants to hear our story. I mean, it's, it's, just getting, it's just getting a bit much to where we need more people. So uh, an example of that committee is I got a call from uh, a television station in Israel. It's like the Israeli 60 Minutes. And they want to do a story on Strawberry Mansion. So I want to pull together some people to do this story. Because you're not just going to talk to me. I want you to talk to the community. Talk to the Jew right here. Talk to the Jew right here. Let me ask. Like we also, we always get uh, calls for, uh, there may be a grant money, like I, uh, I have grant money to do a quilting club. I mean, I can sell, but I don't know nothing about quilting. So I'm going to reach out to my community and say, listen, I got some money to spend on a quilting club. I'm going to reach out to that committee and say, find something for me so I can get this money spent. Okay, so that's kind of the ideas about beyond giving you guys work, because I'm telling you, there's work already to be done. The next one is the Men's Association, and I'm going to let Angelo mention that because he's the one that said we need to have something like this in Sheree Mansion. Could you just briefly just tell us why you think we need something like this in Sheree Mansion? Well, first of all, for y'all that don't know me, I'm Angelo. Angelo Booker, actually. And uh, I'm a member of an organization. Can you come up front? I'm a member of a organization. Uh, sure, no problem. <coughs> Again, like I said, my name is Angelo Booker, and I'm, I'm a member of an organization called 3 2 Y. And me and a few brothers, part of this organization, we, we started standing out in the corner of 32nd New York about maybe three years ago. And, and since we've been standing out there like three years ago, we done stopped a lot of the shootings and the killing that took place on that corner, because it was a shooting and a killing like every day out there. But it's only three of us. So the thing is, what we started, I'm trying to get other communities to adapt what we did. It was just, we started with three brothers on the corner, and we out there preventing the crime the best we can. I'm not saying we're police officers, and we can't stop everything, but for the people that see us out there regularly in the community, 
they are less likely to do stuff in front of us because we know, they know we're there and we care about what's going on. So what, I'm, what I need is more brothers to come out and kind of look at what we do and try to adapt it and take it back to your corner in your neighborhood. We right on 32nd in York. You got a 32nd in Nars, you got a 31st in Diamond, you got a 29th in York, you got a whole bunch of areas that just need a few men out there just so people can see that men care about where they live. And once they understand that we care about Strawberry Mansion, and we're not telling you what to do, we're just trying to help you not kill one another or hurt each other. Because we love our neighborhood. Right. And we love our children. Right. We love our boys, because just like Janetta said, it's where it gets hot. And once it starts getting hot, the fist fights start. After the fist fight, then the guns come out. So what we do is we try to prevent that right there on the corner before it escalates. Because it will escalate if nobody's there to get in front of it and intervene. So what we're asking for is just some brothers. You know what I mean? If you got time after the meeting, talk to me. Or come sit on the phone with us for like an hour and watch what we do in the neighborhood. That's all we ask. Now listen, the sisters always do the work. I'm not talking about the sisters. Y'all always do the work. But I need some brothers just to step up and, you know, let them know we care about our community want our community back. Period. That's it, you know what I mean? Listen, more men show that they care about these little brothers, they love them and they respect them. These little brothers are less likely to shoot and kill each other. Thank you. Right. 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 They want to repurpose them for apartments, condos, and then um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's done already. So that that's exactly what's popular now. And then they want commercial on the first on the first level. So uh, this committee, when PHA did their units on Warden Street and on Oakdale, uh, Strawberry Mansion Task Force PHA Task Force was formed, and they had PHA members, uh, members from the uh, Fifth District. Uh, community members, the CDC, and that. So that task force worked really well in making sure we had uh, minority contractors and making sure we had Section 3 workers. So we're replicating that again on any development that's happening in the neighborhood. So this committee will deal with the water department that's happening right now. So y'all, we got work. We want to work on this committee. I already got some for you to do. Uh, the water department issue, you got to make sure they have 30% participation up there at 33rd Street, 33rd Diamond. Um, we have several projects. We have a school, a, a private school that wants to build a build on, on 30th and Century. Um, so we have a lot of development happening in the community. We want to make sure that we tighten it and we, um, make sure that these things are in our in our best interest. Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities that it, it, it seems hard. It seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, 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 hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge.